I'm Sergeant Tribble with the 119th Mobile Public Affairs Detachment. Over the next six months, we will follow two high school students on their journey to become soldiers in the Arkansas Army National Guard. You'll get to see their first meeting with a recruiter, entrance processing, weekend drills, and journey through basic combat training. We invite you to come with us and see firsthand what becoming a soldier is like. Our first recruit is 17-year-old Haley England of Maumelle, Arkansas. Hey, Haley? Yes. Hey, I'm Sergeant Livingston. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Come on in. So, I know you said you've been meeting recruiters and you've heard that we pay for college, but what outside of that do you know about the National Guard? Just know that the Guard does a lot to help a lot of people and you'll meet a lot of people and everything and so I just feel like something that that's something I want to be a part of. Okay, so of course I know you're joining for college, but I'm going to break down how our benefits work for you with the National Guard. So of course we have our college benefits such as the National Guard tuition waiver that waives 100% of your tuition to any college or university here in Arkansas. But we also get the federal tuition assistance and that is going to give you $4,000 a year up to a PhD. Your Montgomery GI Bill for Selected Reserve is going to give you $439. That's directly to your bank account as long as you're a student. And that doesn't matter if you're part-time, online, full-time, whatever they're going to pay you. Um, if you were to, you have to take the ASVAB first to even start this process. On the ASVAB, if you make a 50 or higher, you'll get an additional $350 with the Montgomery GI Bill kicker. We also offer a lot of different programs that would help you to expedite your higher education process such as Dante's and CLEP and those are just ways that you can test out of having to actually take classes for a full semester. Okay. So you could be finished with your degree in less than four years, your bachelor's degree in less than four years. What is BASIC like? Like I know you kind of told me but that's kind of a big thing for me personally because I am like really like oriented with my family and my friends and that's something I want to know what I'm going into before I leave all of them. Okay, so I also had similar concerns whenever I first joined. Of course I was 17 and I don't know if you have like social media, but I, I had streaks on going mm -hmm. and stuff like that. I was like, I want to be gone and miss it, but you're going to. Um, basic training is 10 weeks of not having your phone every single day. I know now they, so a lot of people get their phones every Sundays. Whenever I first joined, we got our phones randomly for like 10 minutes at a time. But the good thing is you can always write letters home. So you have time every single day to write letters or get mail and open letters from your family or open packages. So yeah, it sounds like you're gonna be away for a long time, but honestly, the days are long, but the weeks are short. So what is the recruit sustainment program like, like when I would get there? Okay, so of course it's your one weekend and you would start that in high school, but there we are getting you ready for basic training through doing training exercises that mimic basic training. And that consists of doing land navigation, which is like plotting points and finding different locations using a map and a compass and just walking. Uh, we also do some swim training where we teach you all how to swim with your rucksacks and your rifles. This is definitely something I want to do. So okay. I want to know like what I need to do now. Like all right. what's my next step? So your next step would obviously be to take the ASVAB and then we can set up a day any day from Monday through Thursday to get you in here and you can either take what we call the PICAT which is a test here at the office. Not timed. You take as long as you need or you can go straight to the military entrance processing station and take your ASVAB there. From there, we will pick you a job, do you an application, and get you enlisted. As you can see, the Guard has many benefits for those wishing to pursue higher education at an in-state university. But what about those wanting to enter the trades? Well, our next recruit, a recent high school grad, Jaden Ford of Mount Holly, Arkansas, wants to pursue a career in HVAC. Let's see what opportunities are available to him. Hey, Jaden, how's it going? It's going good. Good to see you again, man. Come on in. All right, Jaden, so what's got you interested in SERP? Well, I was enrolled in the National Guard Youth Challenge. Okay. And I've seen you around, mm -hmm. 
I graduated and, you know, I kind of just got acclimated to the program and I figured joining the National Guard would be, it would be something along the lines of that. What's your five-year plan? So, I mean, I know you, you graduated high school, you graduated your challenge. Where are you wanting to go now? You want to go to college, trade school, kind of lay, lay out for me. What's your five-year plan? All right. So, I do plan on attending SAU for two years to get my business degree. Okay. And... After the two years, I'm planning on transferring to Pulaski Tech for HVAC. Okay. And after that, I get all that situated. I want to start my own HVAC business. Okay, so you want to get the business piece knocked out and then learn the trade, open up your own HVAC, which in Arkansas is going to do really well, right? Yes, I will. Okay, awesome. So really, what we got to... We kind of know where you're headed. Let's talk about how the, how the guard can help, okay? Before we can talk about joining the guard, you gotta know what the guard is, okay? So, you know, the National Guard, we're a part-time component of the Army, all right? We serve one week in a month, two to three weeks in the summer after our initial training, okay? Um, there are many different branches of the military. There are many components of the Army, okay? There are three components of the Army. So you've got the active duty, the reserves, and the National Guard. So active duty and reserves, they're federal mission only. Okay, so the federal mission of any branch of the military is to fight and win the nation's wars. Okay, we have a federal mission too. You can't put on this uniform and not serve in a federal capacity. The difference between us is that's not our primary mission. Okay, our primary mission is to the state and the people of Arkansas. Okay, if you want to think about it, we are the insurance policy for the state. You know, it's never great when I can just start rattling off examples of what we do because do you think we get called out when things are great? No, right? Uh, so that the tornadoes that came through a little bit ago, right? We were there helping with that. You're probably a little too young to remember some of the others, but um, tornadoes, ice storms, you know, the wildfires, the hurricanes, we go down and help our neighbors for that. Um, that's the kind of stuff we do. We're there for the people of Arkansas when they need us, okay? So that's kind of what, what we are. Um, so we have how many missions? Two missions, right? Federal and state. Um, there are some benefits to that. So I know you said you wanted to go to SAU, then you want to go to Pulaski Tech, correct? Yes, sir. All right, so uh, obviously we have some benefits that's going to help with that. The biggest one, obviously, is it's 100% tuition and fees to any public school in the state. So obviously SAU and Pulaski Tech are included in that, okay? So you're not going to pay tuition or fees if you want to go to a public institution of higher learning, okay? Um, obviously tuition's great. There are other expenses besides tuition, right? You got books. You gotta eat, okay, all that kind of stuff. Um, so there are other benefits to help with that. So you're gonna have the GI Bill, which is $439 a month, tax-free, every month just for being a college student, okay? As long as you're full-time, you'll get that full amount. That's really the biggest educational benefits there. It's gonna be the 100% tuition and fees and your GI Bill, all right? Um, do you have any questions about the service, the, the mission, or the benefits so far? All right, so the first step to joining you've already taken care of, okay? That's the ASVAP, the Armed Services Vocational Aptitude Battery Test. The test you took twice at MAPS, or not at MAPS, but at uh, U-Challenge, right? All right, you did great on it. That step's already done, okay? The next step is we gotta do your packet. I've gotta meet with your mom and your dad. We've gotta talk about it. They're gonna have questions. You're gonna have questions. Um, but your packet is essentially, where do you work right now? Woody's Catfish and Cater. Awesome. You had to fill an application to work there, right? Same thing with us. Now our application is a little bit more in depth because you may pick a job that requires a secret or a top secret security clearance. So it's a little more in depth than a regular job application. But that's what your packet is. Where have you lived since you've been 16? Where have you worked since you've been 16? Who are some family members and character references? Okay. Now once we've got your packet done, now we've got to get ready to go to MEPS. That's the Military Entrance Processing Station. Okay. This is where we're going to do our physical. Okay, now, uh, the physical, you played sports in high school, didn't you? We just saw football, basketball, and track. What position did you play? Football, I played left tackle, basketball, okay. center, and three shot put, and three disc and track. Okay, so you were an all-around athlete. I like it. So, you've taken sports physicals before. Same thing, okay? Again, a little more in-depth than what you did in high school, okay? Uh, what they're going to do is they're going to check your eyes, make sure you can see, check your ears, make sure you don't have any hearing loss. Um, they're going to take you know, a little bit of blood, take your blood pressure, a sports physical, okay? Um, once we pass the physical, that should be done roughly by noon on the day that you go process, okay? Then we're going to go do our contract, all right? You're already going to know what's in your contract before you get there. You already know what job you're going to pick, right? Um, you already know what benefits you're going to get. The only thing you really don't know yet is exactly when you're going to leave for training, okay? Um, but we get your contract done. 
that day you raise your right hand, swear it up, hold and defend the Constitution against all enemies. Okay, it's a big moment. Um, you should feel something when you say it, all right? But from that point on, you're a member of the Arkansas Army National Guard, all right? Once we're done with that, it's not just like, hey, let's go to basic training now, okay? Uh, there's, it's not an immediate thing. So typically it's two to three months before you leave for training if you've already graduated, all right? So are we just gonna send you off in the wind and say, hey, have fun, we'll see you when you ship? <laughs> no, sir. No, sir, okay? We have what's called the Recruit Sustainment Program, also known as RSP, okay? Now, you've graduated, you challenge. That's a military program. You've already learned how to march. You already know how to stand in formation. You already know how to do basic army physical fitness, okay? So you already have a leg up on some of your peers there. Okay, that program definitely helped you. But what we do with the Recruit Sustainment Program is we get you physically, mentally uh, ready to ship to basic training. Now, you've probably seen or heard a lot of things about basic training on TV, all right? Don't always believe what you see on TV or on the internet. Um, but at the end of the day, you think basic training is hard or easy? I feel it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard, okay? It's um, all mental. Absolutely. That's the key thing there, okay? Is it hard? Yes. But it's mainly hard mentally, okay? Uh, physically, you're young, you're fit, you're in shape, you're going to have no problems there. It's going to push you, but you can do it, okay? The hardest thing for you is going to be mentally. Being strong up here saying, okay, I'm not used to being away from home, I'm not used to being away from my parents and give you that mental fortitude to carry on, that resiliency, that's what you're gonna need, okay? Um, but sometimes it's not gonna be all that fun, but once you get through about the first three weeks, it's gonna be a blast. All right, so if there's no more questions, what do you think? Something you're ready to do? Yes, Sarge. All right, let's get the process started, all right? Yes, Sarge. Raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, state your full name. I, Haley England. Do you solemnly swear or affirm? Do you solemnly swear? That I will support and defend? That I will support and defend? The Constitution of the United States? The Constitution of the United States? And the state of Arkansas? And the state of Arkansas? Against all enemies? Against all enemies? Foreign and domestic? Foreign and domestic? That I'll bear true faith? That I'll bear true faith? And allegiance to the same? And allegiance to the same? And that I'll obey the orders? And that I'll obey the orders? Of the President of the United States? Of the President of the United States? And the governor of Arkansas. And the governor of Arkansas. And the orders of. And the orders of. The officers appointed over me. The officers appointed over me. According to law. According to law. And regulations. And regulations. So help me God. So help me God. Now that Haley and Jaden are sworn in, they're officially part of the Arkansas Army National Guard and are on their way to becoming soldiers. Join us in the next episode as we follow both of our new recruits during their first RSP drill.